Hey everybody, thanks for coming on over to see how I made my column for Halloween. What you're looking at here is going to be a frame that is 24 by 24 by 36 inches tall. It's made out of one by threes for the sides for the panels to go on for the foam panels. And then two by twos are going to be the structural support on the inside. Here we see a four inch by four inch L bracket. I have two of them. So that way I can take my fence and I can attach my fence that's gonna be made out of PVCs and it will attach to each one of those brackets. It will also stick into the foam. So the foam is also helping support it along with a couple of screws. As you can see here, it's four inches. Once I have my panels attached and glued to the side of my frame, I took out a marker and I just started to randomly draw, store, draw stones onto the side of the foam. And then wherever the colored in sections are, that's where I used a Dremel tool and I dug out using the Dremel the um, stones. So pay attention at the very top of the foam here next to the blue seat, and you're going to see the progress as it looks once you Dremel it out. And then this is what it looks like once it's sanded down using a 36 grit. The top and the bottom here, you can see the difference of what it looks like to where it's sanded at the top, but it's not the grout lines and the rounded parts are not sanded at the bottom. I use a 36 grit to get that taken care of and to sand those out. So after I cleaned out all of the grout lines, I use a 36 grit on a sanded block and that's the side where it looks like where you see the rounded stone. If you don't sand it down, if you don't round it off, it looks flat. Here you can see where it looks flat still. So even though the grout lines are cleaned out, it still looks flat. So I start on the top of the stone with a 36 and don't go too heavy because if you do, it will dig deep into this foam. And then once I got to the tops, I started on the edges where I would round off each stone individually. As you're rounding off the stones, it digs into the grout lines on its own naturally, and it will dig out the grout lines for you simultaneously. This way, the stones will pop out and it gives them a more rounded, more natural look. Here is the column completed with all four sides hand carved using the 36 grit and it rounded off the stones. As you can see, it looks much more natural. It doesn't look like they are flat just sitting on the side of the column. This is the lid for the column, and I did add a couple of pieces of plywood to the top of it. So that way it would add just a little bit of extra weight to it. The lip that you see, once you flip this upside down, that lip sits on the outside of the column itself, just like this. And the column is, um, each one of those layers are two inch foam once again and stacked on top of each other and glued together. Uh, it's just a random design that I decided on the top. The paint that I use is going to be dry lock. I used a chip brush to paint it on. And then after I painted on with the chip brush on each side, I dabbed it to get rid of the paint lines. Here we see the column that is finally finished. I used some of the paint off to the side and I mixed a little bit of black to make the gray a little bit darker and then I would pick random stones to um, make each stone a different color and it was a very random procedure that I did so there was no rhyme or reason on how I did this. And then of course at the very top we have a solar powered lamp. So I hope you enjoyed seeing how I made this column and hopefully you can go out and make one for your own Halloween cemetery. Thank you.